Hi there, and great that you're watching this video. We created it for you at CVC. Uh, hopefully you're checking out all these videos, maybe because you were here or maybe because you missed out. And with this video, we can give you a hint of just what's uh, the exciting stuff that's going on here at the Computer Vision Conference. And I'm talking to Enrico Schröder from Audi AG, uh, all the way from Germany, here to Las Vegas. Yes. Enjoying the city? Yeah, I do, yeah. actually. Although I, I didn't get to, 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 to walk around much because I arrived yesterday. But yeah. Um, yeah. I'm later, going on. To have, later on, I'm going to have to, uh, two days off. So, yeah. We'll I'm take you on a, on a tour there. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you didn't came just to see the city. You no, also, no, no, You no, came no. for CBC. Yes. What made you decide to come to our conference? Well, um, I was looking for, for a place to, to publish my work. And um, I was looking at all the various uh, vision conferences and uh, somehow uh, CBC stuck out and uh, fit into my schedule. So I decided to, to publish my paper there. And yeah, I got so far got good reviews. Uh, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're not only here as a presenter, which you, you'll have your mm -hmm. present presentation uh, later on, uh, but also then as a participant, you're yeah. hearing all these different uh, yeah. research. Does it uh, resonate with the topics that you are researching? Uh, yeah, actually, some uh, I heard some talks about uh, which, which which relate to autonomous driving, um, but also like general applications of, of, of uh, computer vision and deep learning, and it's. Uh, it's especially interesting to 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 hear something which is maybe not entirely focused on autonomous driving because uh, I work in this field and it's uh, very interesting and important to just uh, like uh, yeah uh, know all the recent developments uh, and applications for computer vision and deep learning uh, in other fields also. So especially yeah. the other fields yes. are like a new inspiration. Yes, then. Yes, 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 yes. Well, uh, let, let's talk about autonomous driving, which mm -hmm. is obviously for a lot of people, it's it's uh, it's uh, very exciting. It's yeah. an exciting field. People are, are trying it out a little bit. D different uh, manufacturers are, are uh, announcing that they have autonomous vehicles within a year, two year. We'll have them all on the on the market. Um, uh, Audi is also uh, one of the um, the companies that is. Uh, like uh, on the cutting edge of that, yeah. trying to develop that. Um, can you tell us a little bit wh where you're at now? Um, well, I mean, uh, Audi is like a traditional car manufacturer, right? So um, we, we started like years ago, like 10, 15 years ago, with, with simple uh, driver assistance systems, and they got more complex. Every generation got more features like uh, lane, uh, lane departure, lane departure yeah. warning, or lane departure, or lane. Uh, lane assistant or like uh, adaptive cruise control and so on. So gradually we, we are moving to, to, towards a more uh, a higher level of autonomy. Yeah. Right. So and, and uh, there are new players on the field like uh, all these startups or like recent startups. Uh, they're not startups anymore, obviously. Um, and they work from a different angle. They, they just skip like the driver assistance and the gradual thing um, and they uh, they want to develop like the, the full autonomy, mm -hmm. like level five autonom autonomous uh, cars. And so, um, so what you say that even maybe for those uh, startups or scale-ups mm -hmm. as they would be now, that it's, it's easier, they, they're, it's not a level playing field because if you want to um, bring an innovation mm -hmm. into the field or uh, onto like existing models, yeah. it, it takes more, more work, I guess, to, to implement. It does, it does, but... but um, we also have a lot of uh, a lot more experience mm -hmm. um, because it takes more than just to to have the the best algorithm and the, the, the best computer vision system, for example. So you have to integrate that in the car. You have to to make all those systems work together in a safe way. Uh, and I think that the traditional uh, manufacturers have have more experience than that. So I'm not really sure who is going to be first uh, at achieving to really get yeah. like a working yeah. autonomous vehicle. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, and is it even so? And I'm just exploring some thoughts mm -hmm. here, but is it even possible to do this like with one manufacturer? Because the idea I have with the, all these autonomous vehicles, if they would all be running like on their own algorithms, that eventually will end up having a, a mess uh, because they w would not potentially be communicating amongst each other. Um, well, yeah. I mean, I mean, uh, now we see a lot of a lot of collaborations going on, mm. like um, different manufacturers or startups working together, uh, or manufacturers um, uh, investing in, 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 in different startups. So uh, it's very much early early days, actually. So, um, and I'm really not sure how how it will play out. You know, yeah. um, it's too early to. Uh, to, to, to predict, to that. predict yeah. that, yeah. So then, uh, obviously, when we're talking autonomous vehicles, we're talking uh, the data and uh, analysis mm -hmm. uh, that uh, an algorithm would have to, to do. Uh, on the front end of that, we'll have 
all these different sensors producing the data. Right. So uh, where uh, where does this relate to uh, to your uh, the paper that you uh, well yeah actually uh, I'm working in the sensor fusion department yeah. so uh, it's the right topic you were talking about um, because we have all this those different sensors in the car um, like cameras radar uh, radar sensors lidar sensors and so on and they all produce huge amounts of data and we have to somehow use all of this information from all the sensors and fuse them together mm -hmm. right and um, that's basically what I'm working on um, professionally in the sense of fusion department uh, at Audi um, and I'm also pursuing my PhD um, exploring uh, methods for doing this using deep learning ah. so yeah so that's that's where it uh, comes together basically yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's exciting exciting stuff yeah. and could you like share just a hint I, I understand that you cannot uh, uh, tell us about your complete pa paper in just these few minutes yeah. interview but maybe a, a hint or, or something surprising you discovered over your research period yeah so what I'm basically focusing on is um, so you, you you want to to find the right level of abs abstraction of the sensor data uh, at which to fuse right you can imagine you can like process all sensors individually and then fuse the information very late but at this point you have abstracted away m uh, much information mm -hmm. right um, you can also fuse the this the data earlier, so like the raw data, but y you get lots of other problems then. Um, and so I've uh, come up with a method which fuses an intermediate representation of all the sensors and uh, using deep learning um, awesome. object detection networks. T to me, as uh, I, I'm not a specialist at all, but um, more uh, uh, if I'm abstracting this, it sounds almost like we're, we're getting closer to how we humans process. Uh, we don't think about uh, touch or smell mm -hmm. or all these individual senses uh, for us it's it's uh, it feels like it feels like one input and yeah. one reaction yeah. to that uh, is, is it comparable um, Are we moving well in that direction? The, the general idea is, is uh, basically yeah it's it's, uh, it's the same right humans also have a fusion system yeah right we use uh, like uh, vision and hearing and touching and stuff like that and um, we've used this information somewhere in our brain but it's not really it's not really well understood um, where and how this happens we, we just know that that we do and um, I think some of the ideas like the general idea of using multiple uh, sensors, multimodality um, wise, is uh, is yeah, basically inspired by the human system. That's but it. but uh, how it works in details, obviously very different. Yeah, yeah. So interesting, and uh, I'm glad that we could hear just a little bit uh, mm -hmm. about that. So, any pr presentation that you're looking forward to uh, as a nice inspiration for for your work in the coming time? Well. I'm not really. Uh, I've not really looked into the exact schedule for tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we'll see. You'll go into it. Yeah, openly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I okay. decide last minute where to go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. we have plenty of choices because yes. we have uh, uh, over tenth uh, uh, or dozens of different sessions here at uh, CBC. I want to thank you so much for uh, for watching this uh, video. We appreciate that you took the time uh, for that. Uh, if you want some more content that we created here for you, please uh, subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're making all the videos available. Also, the lectures of our keynote speakers will be available. And uh, please consider joining us for one of our uh, conferences uh, somewhere near you. Uh, thank you for watching this video. See you in the next.